<laughs> there we go. It is going, I think. Oh, Apoapsis is climbing. Let's do this thing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. And today we are going to try to do the Moho Challenge, which is the equivalent of Mercury. Now there is a problem with Mercury or Moho. It is in a very odd inclination okay so it's not on a flat plane like most of the planets in the solar system it has an inclination so it goes like a little bit sideways that's its orbit path and it takes a lot of delta v to um just encounter it now the challenge is just to do a flyby take some screenshots that's it okay then the second one is to land on moho and return to kerbin and the next part of the challenge is to land a kerbal an actual living kerbal on moho and return them as well so i think i have everything down i don't know if, if this rocket that i have here is good enough or whatnot i'm using an a xenon engine for the last return trip like just the pod with the like i think it's this tin can with a xenon engine and I think that should be fine. So let's go ahead and launch this sucker. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, launch. Very slow start, but it should get the job done. Got a lot of Delta V in this thing. A lot of Delta V. Ish. It is taking a long time for this guy to get up to speed. But as soon as we get 100 meters a second or close to it, then we'll start our gravity turn to the, towards the east. And let's start our gravity turn now. Right, let me get this thing into orbit and then we shall be back soon. Okay, so we have achieved orbit around our sun, Kerbal, and now we are going to set as target, Moho over here, and as we can see the inclination, we are 7 degrees off. If we can get that to zero, it will just make our encounter a little bit better, and also I just quickly want to... Oh, okay, no. <laughs> I did drop the fairing. If you guys wanted to see how the return vessel looks like, here it is. So it's the command module of the Xenon engine at the bottom uh, with its fuel tank and then three solar panels. I think we can apply now. I don't know. Like, I'm not going to take the chance now. Like, I don't think it's necessary. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So 1,277 delta V. I'm just going to tell this thing to please point towards the maneuver. And then we're going to time warp. I know there is something like in Global Space Program 1, day 83, every year at 83, then you launch from Kerbin towards Moho and then encounter it like, you're, like you would spread your orbital path just onto the rim of Moho and then you do adjustments and stuff like that. I did try it, but it doesn't look like, it didn't seem like it worked, so... Right, let's go fast forward to our maneuver node. There we go. Ah, oh, look how beautiful this looks like. Damn. Damn. Okay. And off we go. And I'm just going to do this. Just to get rid of that one stage. Yeah, 30 seconds to go. Then we should be aligned orbitally. Okay, we're back, and we have an encounter with Moho. So after we did the inclination change, we, what I've done is just after, we, where's our ship? I can't see it. But just after that, like uh, about 32 days in, then I've done another node, and I fiddled around with it a lot, and this is one of the closest encounters we'll get. So we're going to execute this burn, and once we get closer to Moho, we'll do some correction burns just to get a very close encounter with Moho. And then hopefully when we get there, we can land, 
do all sorts of things, and then, yeah, everything should be hunky-dory. All right, so we are coming up on the sphere of influence change. And I just want to click properly here because I accidentally clicked on this out this outer line. And if you click here and say time warp, it's going to go for like another 230 days. So, yeah, just make sure about that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, there we go. It's time warp to there. And yes, finally we made it to Moho. Almost. And as soon as we get there, then what I think I'm going to do is try to orbit or go into an orbit. And then we're going to take a few screenshots because that's part of one of the, you know, the um, challenges. Then we're going to attempt to land. And as soon as we land, we're just going to take off again. And try to make it back home to Kerbin. Welcome to Moho. So let me go ahead and focus on Moho. And right over here, I am just going to say... Great maneuver. Okay, this is another thing. I just quickly want to point this out. Like, if I click here, I want to, like, say create a maneuver, not time warp to here. Like, maybe just create a maneuver, um, swap these two buttons. That, that would be amazing for me. Okay, please point to the maneuver. You've got a minute to do so. And I did notice this ship, it doesn't turn too quickly. It's not abysmal, but it's good. It, it turns the way it should. And still, something is very off balance here for me. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, uh, if this tail still wiggles with this part, I don't know. Maybe it's the fairing part or something. I'm just thinking of like adding more struts all along the way in my future builds. Just to make sure this doesn't happen. Okay, welcome back to OBS. Stop, decided to stop and crash on us. And I had a whole thing. Landing, reloading, landing. Well, not really landing. Like, keep running out of Delta V because I'm screw up the landing and everything. But now we're here. Finally. And look at cool our solar panels and everything. So now the thing is we have to launch again. Yeah, here we go. We're going towards the east, so this way. And try to circularize and then I don't know if we will have enough Delta V in this to do anything, but then it's gonna come down to this little guy and I just hope that we can <laughs> do something with it. Um because Actually, this engine in here, this tiny little engine, it's supposed to be for satellites. Like, that's that's its whole thing. And this is not a satellite. This thing's a, lo a lot bigger than a satellite. Maybe even heavier. But we have to try. We have to get home. So let's... Uh, so, yeah. Welcome to Moho. It is very barren. No signs of life or anything. I cannot wait for them to add science so we can do some scientific experimentals in this place. But for now, we have to get home. So we have to figure out, like, on the ball, nav ball over here, there is north is this red line, and then this way is east, the 90 degree mark. So we have to, but what luckily is, it's almost like the moon. Where you can just go up for a little bit and then go east or whatever. And then just burn till you can circularize a little. And maybe, I think this Delta V should be enough. But uh, like I said, it's the stage afterwards. So, ready? Okay. I did save if something goes wrong. Yeah, okay. In three, two, one, go. So we're just going to launch ourselves quite high up and look for east. Yeah, go east, go east, go east. We're losing speeds. Just like that.
and we gotta keep burning. Let's aim a little bit more upwards. Come on, come on. Okay. There we go. It is going, I think. Oh, Apoapsis is climbing. Let's do this thing. That's quite quite spiffy. I gotta gotta admit. Let's point towards the. Uh, perhaps is. hopefully we can stick eyes by then and after many many hours I finally broke free of Moho's fear of influence and I will never ever try this with this <laughs> Xenon engine ever again okay those things are made for satellites not for anything bigger than a Kerbal <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, this this is the what we ended up with. I'm gonna call it quits for here because yeah, I I've planned out everything, changing the inclination, and it will take me if I burn at the like at the ascending node, then it will take me in game, okay, or in real life, one day of burning, and it wouldn't it would use up about. Um, I think it was 2,000 or 3,000 Delta V or something, but I'm not going to sit here a whole freaking day, you know, <laughs> staring at this. So I'm going to call it here, and we uh, we went to Moho, and I'm sure the ship can go back to Kerbin, but I am a man of not that lot of amount of patience. But yeah, anyways. People, thanks so much for joining me here on Cobble Space Program. Hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.